The first story, very interesting, is the story of Tufayl ibn Amr al-Dawsi. Interesting fellow. He was the leader of his tribe. He was also a very skillful poet. And he decided to pay his respects to Mecca, to visit and make you know, tawaf of the house. All Arabs had, rev had shared regard for what city? For Mecca. So to show their dedication, he would, to show his dedication, he came as the leader of his tribe. The leaders of Quraysh realize that he's coming. And when he comes, he might hear the Prophet ﷺ reciting Qur'an. And if that happens, he might get enchanted. So we better protect another tribe leader from falling at the hand of Muhammad ﷺ. Because when a tribe leader becomes Muslim, who also follows? The whole tribe. So you gotta take care of business. They go to meet him outside Mecca before he even comes in. They said to him, listen, we've got a problem in the city right now. There's this man, he says these words, and they cast spells on people. It turns father against son, husband against wife, brother against brother. It is causing disunity in our tribe. These people are being possessed by demons when he speaks to them. We, don't, we, we think you're an important figure for your tribe. We think that your, 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 your integrity is going to be compromised if he's able to cast his spells on you. We advise you to go back. We don't want you to come into Mecca. He's hesitating to go, but he says, no, I came all this way. I'm at least going to go and make tawaf. I'm going to pay my respects to the house and then go. They said, fine, but at least take this cork. They gave him a couple of plugs. For what? If you see him, you will recognize those words. And when you hear those words, just plug your ears and run. This is the advice they gave him. He goes in, he's paying his respects to the house. The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is there praying, reciting Qur'an. He hears the sweetness of the words and he recognizes immediately this must be what they were talking about. So what does he do? He plugs his ears and makes a dash for it. And halfway in his, in his jog, he stops and he thinks to himself, I am the leader of my tribe. I am the pride of my, my people. I am one of the most skillful poets in all of Arabia. Some words are going to overpower me. I can take this. He unplugs his ears. He goes back to the Messenger ﷺ. He listens to the Qur'an. He takes the shahada and then tells the story. SubhanAllah. <laughs> That's how we know the story.